Hey guys, this is Roman's Lexus South Point. Just want to do a quick walkthrough of the interior of the new 2023 RX350. This one I have in front of me is a luxury package. Um, I just want to show you a few things inside of it and see what's changed 22 to 23 model year. Very nice lighting in the showroom here. Um, but anyway, let's get back to this. So essentially, of course, on all the new RX, we have this new generation digital latch. So you do have a button on the inside and a mechanical lever on the outside. So you can pull that twice or to open the door. And same thing from the inside, you pull this twice and or you can just push it with your thumb and push the door away from you. Now for the new RX, we have a full redesign. So there is nothing that's the same for 22 compared to 23. It's two completely different cars. The only um, the only thing that's kind of similar is the size, but everything has been updated. This one we have is black interior with the black roof line. We have full size moonroof on this one, on the luxury package. For Canadian market, luxury package is the second one from the bottom out of four packages. So like two out of four, essentially. Um, this one does have the 14 inch display and 9.8 uh, inch display for the driver. Um, we have, everything's brand new. We have leather on the side of the door and, and each door. We have brand new buttons for all the controls. Uh, similar style um, ex uh, air exit here that blows on top of the uh, glass here, which is very nice. Um, then a few cool things here. So you have interior vents are a little bit more adjustable. You can do different stuff with that. Um, we have on the left side, we do have some new stuff. So we have memory seats on the, this compared to the door on the previous uh, RX and two buttons here. For the for the trunk and the gas door opener then if we hop inside everything on the left on the steering wheel is for the music your voice command and um, phone connectivity this is all going to be on the left side on the right side we have everything car related so your adaptive cruise control lane assist um, and also on the bottom, you do have a little bit of a, a more um, of a music control, which is pretty nice. Um, but other than that, very nice, very soft steering wheel. We do have some wood on the inside here. On the outer circle is all leather, which is very, very nice because in wintertime, your whole steering wheel is going to be heated um, in the heated steering wheel function. Then of course, um, this is exactly the same as an, any new Lexus. Uh, NX UX is the same. Um, these toggles here for the wipers and such. Then brand new screen, let's start it up. See how it looks like. Very, very cool. So nothing's been set up quite yet but we can still play around with it and i can show you guys a few things the climate control is going to be on the bottom which is exact same as uh, how it is on the nx um your everything is on here so for climate for the fan speed and stuff you can change temperature by um these little toggles here um the defrost and heated back window and side mirrors is actual buttons which is very very nice so if you're living in a colder climate you can still use your gloves and push those buttons or you can remote start your car from the phone which is very cool you just download the lexus app um, but basically here on the left side we have navigation i don't know if it's a little bit harder to see on the screen i always got to make sure that it captures um, then we have music um, phone connectivity car settings so in car settings that's where you have normal sport and eco and custom uh, custom driving modes um, you can set it all up essentially here and in the settings uh, button here so very very cool very fast response you have the de-icer for the bottom of the windshield right there you can put turn it on and off economic mode for heat and uh, ac climate control um sorry you have climate concierge so you can set it up 
uh, for different um, temperatures in winter and summertime and then after a while it goes away um, and then you have S flow which is very cool thing brand new to the RX and just uh, brand new to Lexus in general you have direct air only to occupied seats um, I'm not sure if this is a really a good idea I mean it's very very nice to have it but when you're driving in the hot car or a very cold car I would like to get hot or cold air in my whole car not just where I sit so I kind of recommend having it off so that your car warms up and cools down a little bit better um, but everything here is pretty simple very very easy to operate a lot of people are going from the previous generation RX and into this one and they have no issues um, using anything everything is pretty straightforward down here we have USB Type-C uh, plugins here one down here as well and USB 2.0 also we have a nice big pad will fit any phone there is in existence at the moment um, for wireless charging then you can also close it up it rolls in very nicely very nice materials in general you can kind of hide stuff in there this feels very nice it doesn't it feels like you could open and close it a million times and it would be exactly the same it wouldn't break it wouldn't squeak very very nice materials then the dash has been updated so as you guys can see we do have kind of like a a lane there going around the car um, and the driver's seat is more driver oriented then up here we have up here we have um, the car controls so essentially we have the start stop system so this car does have it um, I find that it doesn't work as annoying as it could be on other cars um, because it doesn't work all the time which is kind of nice because when you're you know when you're not putting uh, your brake pedal all the way down um, it wouldn't work all the time which is kind of kind of nice I don't want it to work to my engine turned off every moment I stop uh, it's sometimes it's can be very annoying um, then we have an automatic transmission here so uh, brand new thing for the RX so to go in reverse you go left and forward and then you'll also see the backup camera for the uh, drive again we go left and backwards towards uh, towards yourself for the drive and for the park we just push P once the P is lit up you can also see P on there um, also look at this guys right underneath on the bottom of the digital dash you can see that I'm pushing the brakes on the car and you can see it right there on the bottom um, so this car does have automatic um, brake assist which is very very weird <laughs> at first when you when I drove the car I was like what's going on why does my car stop on its own on the red light but very cool thing everything else pretty here is pretty straightforward we have uh, hill assist um, hold for the park for the brakes when you sit on the long red lights or stop signs uh, parking brake uh, modes <coughs> mode terrain modes so you can uh, change that and your uh, traction control everything else is uh, pretty much the same here not a whole ton of uh, not nothing crazy up here then we have a garage door opener and this button here is your um, automatic dimming inside mirror so you right when it lights up green it's on you can turn it off as well this car is also equipped with the genuine uh, Lexus dash camera uh, works very nice it doesn't it's not annoying uh, in any way works just like how it should be you can get it straight from Lexus with so you don't have to mess with any wiring or plug it plug it in anywhere then up here we have a controls for the um, so this would be the sun the sun shade for the sunroof and on the right side would be the sunroof itself um, but yeah everything is pretty cool we have these new touchscreen um, lights I'm not sure why there is would be four of them but I guess that's kind of how Lexus did it on this car very cool storage area here you can open it from both ways for driver and the passenger pretty pretty big my whole hand can fit in there um, so there is lots of room um, for future owners of the NX and UX and RX this 
here can be sometimes very fragile if you're rough with opening your um, armrest area. So be careful in the future time because of course, if you break it yourself, it's not going to be covered under warranty. And um, once this little edge breaks, your armrest could be a little bit wobbly or a little bit just not properly opening.